third method is condition coverage it is a white box testing technique which mainly focuses on evaluation of individual conditions within a decision making statement so here condition is a boolean expression that can evaluate to either true or false and condition coverage it requires that each condition in a decision statement it should be tested with both true and false outcomes at least once so if you take this example here so here we have two conditions a greater than 0 and b greater than 5 condition coverage aims to ensure that each of these conditions evaluates to both true and false during testing condition coverage testing it is used by the developers to design white box test cases it is also referred to as predicate coverage testing let us take this example and try to calculate the condition average with the first test case where we are taking values of x y z w so all these values are equivalent to or equal to 0 so with these values the first condition of the or operator so what is the first condition x equal to 0 yes x value is equal to 0 so it holds true so since this left part is true then uh, here no need to execute this part you can skip this part second or right part from evaluation just skip it now if condition so the condition y equal to 0 it remained unchecked in this case right the statement 3 it will be executed resulting in printing 100 and then condition if z equal to 0 and w equal to 0 in the else part it won't be executed here so how many conditions we have total four conditions so out of two out of four only one condition got executed right this one so we can calculate the condition coverage here so condition coverage equal to total count of conditions executed by total count of conditions in the source code so we have four conditions so total number of conditions are four out of four, four how many got executed here only one so one by four into hundred so so here condition coverage is 25 percent let us take the second test case uh, where we are uh, taking values as x equal to 1 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 and w equal to 0 so in this case half the code gets executed here x value equal to 1 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 and w equal to 0 so with these values the first condition it is having or operator with the expression x equal to 1 so here x value is not equal to 1 so this condition fails next as a result of the left side of the or is false here now this right side expression y equal to 0 it will be evaluated so now we need to evaluate this part so yes y value is equal to 0 this third statement will be executed printing 100 and then condition if z equal to 0 and w equal to 0 in the else part it will remain unchecked so out of four conditions how many conditions uh, got executed total count of conditions executed are two and how many number of conditions we have in the source code total four so two divided by four into hundred so it gives you 50 percentage so condition coverage percentage then moving to the third test case where x equal to 1 y equal to 1 both z and w values are 0 now move to the original part so in this case what is value of x 1 so here it fails and value of y is 1 again this also holds false so here we are executing this one first followed by this one and then here it won't print 100 right as this condition fails now we need to move to else if check this condition z equal to 0 so this first condition having the end operator with the expression z equal to 0 is true even though this left side of the end operator is true right side of expression will also need to be 
evaluated. So you need to evaluate this W equal to 0 also. Since both of them are true, statement, this uh, fifth statement is executed printing 200. So out of total four conditions, here all four of them got executed, right? So first we verified this x equal to 0. Then we tested y equal to 0. Now in, the, in this case, both z equal to 0 and w equal to 0. All these four conditions got executed. So what is the statement coverage in the third test case? So out of four, all four got executed. So condition coverage is 100% in this case.